Yeah, really pleased with the win uh, on a night where we didn't play particularly well. The fact that we can still be resilient enough to um, find ways to deal with what was uh, a very kind of high-powered attack tonight. I thought Dallas really gave us some, some issues, especially early on, uh, to deal with that. And on an, as I said on that, when we didn't play particularly well, uh, to really be resilient and find ways to score goals and um, obviously work really hard defensively and come out over the clean sheet. With all that, I'm, I'm really pleased. I'll start off with Connor Cape, Al2 Sports Radio. Robin, you're 4-2-1 and one and currently fourth place in the Western Conference heading into this uh, this long international break, and you get a 3-0 win and a clean sheet heading into it. What does a game like tonight do to you, do for your team, the mentality, confidence, attitude, and just the day-to-day -day in the next three weeks leading up to the Cincinnati game? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, these games are <clears throat> so important because you spend three weeks thinking about your loss or you spend three weeks feeling good about your win. Uh, it's really important, I think, for our confidence. Um, given how things have gone for us so far, we've had some good performances, some not so good performances. And I think recently, probably our last five performances have been pretty decent. Our last four, at least, have been pretty decent to cap it off with a 3-0 win at home. Uh, I think it takes, it takes us into the break with a fair amount of confidence. Go to Matt Pollard. Last word on soccer. Hi, Robin. Thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. You mentioned Thank the you. game plan not necessarily going the way that you wanted to. What didn't work out? And then ultimately, how did the team adjust to get the result that they did? Uh, we just weren't good with the ball in the first half. We didn't keep possession enough, and our turnovers led to counterattacks and dangerous counterattacks from Dallas. And uh, it's not typical of our, of our team. When we play well, we do a decent job of keeping the ball. Um, so for whatever reason on the day, it just wasn't as sharp as it needed to be. But <clears throat> we found ways to score goals, uh, key goals at key moments. And um, you know, in the second half, I thought we were more sure defensively. And as a result, one ball's in good spots, and we had several counterattack opportunities. Um, so it was uh, one of those games where initially it just we weren't quite as good as we needed to be, um, but we still found a way. We'll turn to Chase Howell, Denver Post. Hi, Robin. Uh, William Yarbrough just seemed to be on another level tonight. What impressed you about his play? Uh, Will's just a really smart goalkeeper. Um, you know, you guys see the saves he makes and things along those lines, but what you don't see is the amount of time he spends working on the game and studying opponents, studying himself, evaluating himself. He's very thorough and very professional. And um, I always hate, I just said this, I hate when we have to talk about goalkeepers because that means he's had too much to do. But the fact of the matter is when you have a night where you do need a goalkeeper to step up, he's, he, he had a, an incredibly good night. <clears throat> Go to Brian Jennings, bring a new wave. Thanks again, Robin. Hey, I uh, kind of wanted to, we touched earlier on the week about, you know, this this being the next man up type of a scenario with a couple guys out. How would you feel the guys um, who, who did step up, how, how they did look like they really started getting involved and guys were having fun out there? Yeah, I know early on we, <clears throat> as I said, we didn't play particularly well, but certainly not lack of effort. And, you know, I thought... Uh, Nico Mosquita stepped in and worked really hard. Uh, Johnny Lewis worked hard. Um, overall, we weren't that effective, but still they both had very good moments, and the, the work rate and concentration was, was very good all day. Back to Connor. Uh, Robin, after the first goal, you get that penalty Rubio has it saved, but then you score on the ensuing corner kick off of that, and it kind of snuffed out that, that bit of excitement that FC Dallas had off saving the penalty. How important was it to score that quickly and kind of snuff out the, uh, the momentum or the energy that they were starting to gain there? Hugely important. Uh, you touch on a pretty critical moment in the game, I think, there. Uh, 
there's definitely a momentum swing when a penalty is saved. The team that, that has saved the penalty has a little bit of a lift. And to be able to come right back, as you said, on the ensuing corner kick and be able to score is just, uh, you know, when I, I mentioned the word resiliency earlier, that's just part of it. Um, the fact that we were so switched on that we could take the disappointment of not going up 2-0 and still being able to find ways to concentrate and execute effectively enough to get a second goal, I think was really important and probably demoralizing for Dallas. Go back to Matt. Robin, Danny Wilson some, with some really big battles against Frank O'Hara, some on the ball, some after the whistle in the case of the second half. And we saw a little bit of that in the first game of the season. What did Danny do well tonight? And this seems like a, a really, really good trend for him if we go back to the game against Vancouver and really all game, all season long. Yeah, Danny is just, uh, he's just playing well. He's playing really well, uh, incredibly confident with the ball and incredibly good passer. Uh, I can't think there are very many center backs in the league that are better passers than him. But <clears throat> what he's done uh, so far this year and toward the end of last year, really focused on his defending. And uh, with that confidence now, we see him uh, winning so many physical battles and imposing himself. And uh, so in addition to the, the good things that Danny's always been able to do with the ball, what we're seeing now is he's really turned himself into um, into a, a, a very, very good defender and is showing it week in, week out against different types of forwards, fast forwards, big forwards. Uh, he's had to deal with a lot of different things so far this year, and he's, he's adapting really well. 